Hey, it's Brett the Herbalist and I'm back with another herbal home remedy today. And what we're doing today is the old traditional herbal foot bath. And herbal foot baths have been around for thousands of years. They're an ancient Chinese medicine practice, also practiced throughout Europe. And when I was studying herbal medicine back in the 90s, I was reading lots of books about herbal medicine and I came across this one by Maurice Messier. And it's called of people and plants and he talks about his practicing herbal medicine uh, around France. He's a French herbalist and he treated the French president and also um, the English Prime Minister Winston Churchill among other famous people. He became very well known for his herbal foot baths. You'll find the link to this book near the video. So what I'm doing is the old herbal foot bath and I'm using a, a bucket to do this foot bath. So you can you can get foot baths but they're quite hard to find. So what you can use is a baby bath, a, a mop bucket or even a nappy bucket. But it has to be oval shaped or rectangular so you can fit both feet into it at, at the same time. And today what I'm doing is I'm, I'm doing a foot bath using yarrow flowers. And yarrow flowers are very well known for improving the circulation looking after the health of the veins and particularly good for thrombosis and varicose veins so the lower body cardiovascular problems. So yarrow flowers, very very good for those aching legs and for the circulation. So let me show you how we do the foot bath. So we just need to weigh out these yarrow flowers. To make a good foot bath we need about 50 grams worth. Once we've got that weighed off we can just place that into our pot. Put that to one side. And then we need to measure out the water. So we'll need three litres of water to make a good foot bath. It does depend on the size of your bucket that you're using, but you need enough water to cover your foot. So not above the ankle, but just enough to cover your feet once it's in the bucket. Then we'll put that on the heat on the stove and we'll just bring that slowly to the boil and we'll let it simmer. The longer the better but 15 to 20 minutes is more than enough. Just let it simmer gently so that you can get all the extract all the goodness out of those herbs. And then you can strain this off. What I'm using here is a colander but you could use a sieve, uh, even a muslin bag if you've got that and just let the, the water drain out of the herbs. It doesn't matter if you get some of the herbs in the water, but ideally, yeah, just you just want the liquid. You don't really need the solid material in the foot bath. And then we're just going to squeeze out the last bit of water. Great. So you can see how dark an extract that we've got by doing this. And there's a few herbs floating around in there, but that's fine. You need to let this sit for 15 to 20 minutes to cool off before you can put your feet in. And then you want to soak in there for about 20 minutes. Get a good book or watch some TV and enjoy the relaxation. Awesome.